So what we're going to look at today is we're now going to start to put my 12 shots of golf together. And we're going to look at now creating sort of a little series of holes where you start to understand what you need to do to play to that level. So today is all about how can we shoot around 80, that single figure golfer, 8, 9 handicap. And we're going to play three holes. So we're going to play a par 5, around about 520 yards, 200 yard par 3, and then about a 320 yard par 4. And what we're looking for, for my level of goal, looking at those length of holes and how the holes are set up, they're very much holes as an 8, 9 handicap golfer. What I'll be looking to do, this first hole that we're going to play, is around about 520 yards. On average, I'm probably going to par this 70% of the time as a single figure golfer, and I'm going to bogey it about 30% of the time. So what we're going to do, we're just going to play the hole, see how we get on, and when we get to each shot that we go through, we'll just give you some feedback of relative to my handicap what I've done. The whole idea for me when you play golf is keep your mind in a very calm state, so when you go to the next shot, you play it to the best of your ability. We're going to look at my data, so we go back to my 12 shots of golf and driving. What are we looking for off the tee for this level of player? Anything around 220, 225 would be a lovely drive. If I can do that down the middle of the fairway, that gives me a great opportunity now to get the ball down the hole, look to get it probably for me, again, as that single figure goal for this length of hole, good chance to get on in three, maybe make a five, as I said, 70% of the chance, 70% uh, of the time, I've got a pretty good chance of powering this hole. So let's have a go. So key thing, always stick to your routine. Again, keep you in that calm state. Remember what you're looking to do. Okay, I've hit better balls, but it's okay. Gives us a good chance. I think it'll be around about our number, around about that 225, 230. Find out when we get there, and then we'll play the next shot from there. So I've arrived at my ball. What I'm going to do to start with, just to give you an idea how far I've hit it, I'm just going to take a laser reading back to the tee, and I've hit that drive 218 yards. So pretty much bang on my number, 220, 225. Not perfectly in the fairway, but okay. So, but what I'm looking to do now is back to one of my maintainers. I'm now looking to put this ball down the fairway. If I can advance it 170, 180 yards, that would be great. So let's play it off the lie. Let's see what we get. Slight downhill lie. So I'm just going to favor my weight slightly on my left side. Just a nice smooth swing. So we can advance that ball down. Right, struck it nicely. Hopefully now going to put me around about 120, 130 from the green. That gives me a really good opportunity to get the ball on the green. Remember, I'm the eight handicap golfer. If I can do that, I'm doing absolutely fine. So mentally, I'm in a good place. I've put myself in the right position after two shots. I'm doing, remember these shots is what you're doing on average to play to that level. So I've now got to where I end up hitting my second shot. Really pleased with that shot. Probably a little bit better than average. And as I said, we hit about 220 off the tee. That left us about 300 down the hole. So par five, what have I got left? Let's take a reading. So it's 116 yards to the flag. So I've hit that down the hill there nicely around about 185. So remember 170 is our number for our maintainer shot. So to do that, definitely happy with that. So now look at the conditions, look at what we've got. Got a little bit of ball above my feet, which can tend to sometimes make the ball go a little bit left, okay? Because of that, what I tend to do is I'll look at it and maybe play the shot a little bit softer. I know I can probably hit a wedge into that green in these conditions from 110, 115 yards. What I'm gonna to do today, because the ball's a little bit above my feet, I'm just gonna take a smoother nine iron, okay? Flags cut a little bit on the left side, so again, play out towards the right edge. I naturally draw the ball, so what I'm gonna learn from that is I play out to the right edge, Lie of the land, my natural shape, pretty good chance then I'm going to get a result. So let's grab a 9 iron. And again, what's important is to stick to your routine. Imagine the shot that you want to play, 
have a clear picture before you play it. Again, all of us can play a nine iron probably to within a few feet, a flag stick length from the hole. So you're always looking to play that shot. But realize from this distance, we'll be looking 110, 120 yards. If I get this ball on the green, give myself a 40, 50 foot putt, I'm doing okay. Remember, on average, I'm going to bogey this hole 30% of the time as a single figure player. Because it's a slightly awkward slope, I'm just going to have a couple of little practice swings because it's not normal. It's not what I've been used to practicing on dead flat light, just so I get the idea of the shot. Once I'm then clear in my mind what I'm going to do, move in. As I said, I'm going to favor the right side of the green because of my shape and the conditions that we're playing in and just let that shape bring it back to the hole. Okay, now it does happen sometimes. You aim on the right edge. I'm going to be on the right edge of the green, but it didn't move and that happens. But the key thing is, it's very unlikely for me as an individual, I was going to hit that ball way, way right. So I played that side, didn't quite get it, but I'm on the green. If I can two putt it, I've made my five. As I said, 70% of the time, that's what I should do on this hole. Let's go and see if we can finish it off. Never know, might nick a birdie. So we got to the green and results quite nice. Let's pace it out. Let's see what I've got. So we've got roughly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight paces. So. I've played my first three shots in this hole. Amazingly, if we go back to my two putts um, in my 12 shots of golf, 20 feet is my average two putt for that single figure golfer. So, so far, those first three shots combined have worked out really nicely. I've pretty much now gained a little bit. So if I can do my average from here, two putt it, I've made my five, as I said, 70% of the time I should do that. So let's see if we can do it. So again, a little bit damp out here today. Give your ball a clean, make sure there's no, nothing on your ball. Read your putt, make sure you're happy with this. So I know this putt's pretty straight, it's not gonna do a lot. All I do is I just come back, just confirm that in my mind. I'm quite happy with that. And now commit to the shot, so. Again, just see the shot for what it is, set up and play. Dead online, hit it a little bit harder without a chance. Might have made a birdie, but as we've done, nice par there. So, nothing spectacular. 220 off the tee, then roughly that 180, 190 yard second shot. Put my nine iron on the green, two putted, got my five. Let's go play the par three. So here we are on the path three, and first thing we're gonna do, get to the tee box, take a reading, get an understanding of how far we've got to go to that flag. So it's 191. Now, what's really good, in the last few minutes, what have I just played? I played a nice hybrid down the, uh, the previous par five, and it went that sort of distance. So straight away, that gives me a good feeling to think, that's the club I'm gonna use here again, okay? Now, remember, we're looking at a 200 yard hole. For the average single figure golfer, you're probably going to bogey this more than you're going to par it. So whereas that was a 70% chance of par, this is probably only going to be a 20, 30% chance of par. Average shot here would get within about 10, 15 yards of the green. That would be a good shot. So as long as we do that, we're doing fine. Okay, go through my routine. Nothing changes. I want to keep as many consistencies, especially if it works, keep it going. A little bit of a camber on the hole going from left to right. So I'm just going to aim towards the left edge of the green. And again, anywhere down, down near that green will do us nicely. Struck it okay. You make the green, that's a bonus. Okay, it's on the very left edge. I'm not sure if it made it, but remember, as a single figure golfer, if I'm within 10, 15 yards of that green, that's an average shot, that's what I should be doing. I struck it nicely, keep that confidence up, keep that belief up. Remember, if you're a nine handicap golfer, you can make nine pars and nine bogeys. I've just made a par, even if we make a bogey, we're doing what we're meant to do. Let's go down and see if we've got a long putt or a chip. So I arrived at my shot on this second shot on the par three, and I've pretty much done again what I should be doing. I'm around just a few feet off the green. And as again, as we said, as a nine handicap golfer, this is about a par shot. 
So the biggest thing I want you to realize, if you're achieving these things, be calm, be relaxed, because what that will help you do is play the next shot well, you'll make better decisions. I know a lot of golfers, even higher handicap, haven't hit this green, and they're so frustrated. And you think, why are you frustrated with that? You shouldn't be. So I'm okay with this. Eight handicap, as I said, I've just parred the last. I'm in a good position here. Now, what would be a par shot? If I could get this probably somewhere between eight and 10 feet, this is our 20 yard pitch shot. So again, I'm falling into a lot of my categories of what we've gone through in my other 12 shots of golf and what I want you to practice. So if I've practiced it, if I can get this around about a flag stick length or just a little bit further away than that, then I'm doing fine. I want to give myself an opportunity to make the putt. If I can get it closer, that's a bonus. I'm looking at the shot. It's quite wet out here today. I've got probably around about 15, 18 feet of really nicely mown fringe. If it was the summer and it wasn't raining, I'd make putt this. I think that may be a more consistent shot, but because today it's a bit damp, I'm gonna pop it onto the green. I'm just using a standard pitching wedge for this. I'm just gonna pop it halfway to the hole, let the ball do the rest. Very slight downhill lie. So what I'm feeling here is I want to get my weight favoring my left side so my body is swinging with the slope. Sorry, the club is swinging with the slope. And again, because it's not a powerful shot, you can see I'm making quite a narrow stance. So I'm not looking to create massive power. Just looking to pop it probably around about 30 feet in front of me, let the ball do the rest. Let's see what we get. We can get this inside a flag stick length. That's perfect. Okay, so I've probably put that within about four or five feet, so slightly better than average. Four or five feet is my 50-50 putt. So I've now given myself that chance, about 50% chance of powering this hole, 50% chance I'm gonna get my bogey. That's about right. So I've arrived at my putt. We're looking at what we've got in front of us, and it's about four and a half feet. So we're looking around about what we said. It's gonna be my 50-50 putt as a nine handicap golfer. Go through your routine, mark your ball. On a day like today, a little bit wet, just give it a bit of a clean, go through your routine, read the putt. Once you're happy, give it a go. So again, just double check I'm happy. And again, commit to it. Remember, if you miss it, you're okay, doesn't matter. You're still doing what on average you should be doing. If you hold it, bonus. Okay, slotted it in. We've picked up a little bit of a shot there. So through those first two holes, we've made two pars. We're a little bit ahead of the game. Really happy with that. So we've now come to our third hole on our three hole challenge and how we're gonna shoot 80 or better. So playing around that single figure goal. Should be in a good frame of mind. Played a pretty conventional par five, nicely on the green for three, two putts. And played the par three, came up a little bit short, played a lovely chip on and finished it off with a nice three, four foot putt there to save my par. So mentally I should be in a good place. I've shown two ways of making my par by either doing it in what we call regulation play or getting up and down, okay? Weather just deteriorating a little bit here, got a bit more rain going on. But now we're gonna play our par four. So, last hole here at Corinthians Golf Club, it's a 330 yard par four. Now, mentally, through these three holes, if I, I'm shooting one over par through these three holes, I'd be very, very happy. That's playing them a single figure goal. Got an opportunity maybe today to maybe nick a little a bit of a shot off that and be a round par, okay? But let's see how we go. So, important thing, as we always do on every shot, every hole, stick to your routine. So come back, just happens to be a big tree on the horizon there that I'm gonna aim for. And if I can hit a nice shot there, a little bit of draw off it, that should put me nicely in the middle of the fairway. Let's see what we get. Just so a little bit on the left side. Should be okay though. Okay, we'll find out when we get up there. Fairway does camber a little bit from left to right. It should be okay. So I've arrived at my ball and what we're gonna double check, just again, go through the stats, the 12 shots of golf. Let's just look back at the tee. How far have I hit this tee shot? So we're looking for around about 220 for an eight, nine handicap golfer. On this occasion, you can see the weather not great, it's raining a little bit. I'm in the light rough, coming uphill. I've only hit that drive actually 185 yards. Okay. But remember, I'm a single figure golfer. I shouldn't be booming every drive down there. So this is okay. I can still make a score from here. I 
think that's the important thing. So let's see what we've got left of the flag. Looks like he's put the flag right at the back for us. Okay, and that's playing 147 yards, 153 yards uphill. So lie's not great. So in these conditions, what I'm going to look at, that probably should be a nice eight iron for me. Okay, but I'm thinking, well, if I can get it anywhere on the green in these conditions from that lie, that's okay. And it's a bit of a hanging lie. What I mean by that, the ball is slightly below my feet. So what I always do in this situation, I always take one more club. If I think it's an eight, I'll take a seven. And the reason for that is I don't want to put any forced energy into it. I want to feel nice and smooth with my technique. When you get an awkward lie or awkward conditions like this, look to keep the rhythm and tempo to your swing. Okay, so I'm actually just nudge a seven iron. Anywhere on that green, I'll take it. Okay, remember we're an eight handicap golfer. So even if I'm just in front of the green, that's okay. Flag is right at the very back. If I reach the front edge, okay, I'm going to have probably a 50, 60 foot putt. So anything around that, I'll take that in these conditions. And that's the important thing to understand. We're looking to play shots relative to your level. Don't feel that when you're playing it, you've got to put it right on the flag every time. All right, so let's grab a seven iron and let's give it a go. So again, I'm going through my routine. Flags cut a little bit on the left side of the green, which is not a bad place on this particular hole. Anything up there near the green, I'll take that from this, that sly and these conditions. Let's see what we can get. Okay, nice and line. Hasn't come out of that lie very good. Yeah, I think I got a little bit of water on the club face and it just died. But I'm in the middle of the fairway. I'm probably 10 yards short of the green. As a single figure golfer, that's not probably far off where I should be after two shots anyway. So like the previous half, I can get it up and down. I might save my par, but bogey isn't the end of the world. Let's go and have a go at the chip. So I've arrived at my ball after my second shot here on the last hole at Corinthians. And I've got myself a little pitch onto the green of some sort. And what's important to look at here is a couple of things, okay? What I see a lot of the time when people get to the green, they just sort of look at, I've just got to get it on the green. And I wouldn't normally do this, but on this sort of chip, I'm actually going to get a reading of how far it is to the hole. Normally when I'm around the green, it's more of an instinctive thing that I do rather than me getting a reading. But the reason why I'm going to get you this reading is basically, this is the longest green on the golf course. And although I'm only, well, let's pace it out. I'm around about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paces from the green, so about ten yards, it's 41 yards to get to that flag. So I've got a good 30 yards of green to play with. And what I see a lot of the time with golfers is they get this shot and they're just looking to get it on the green. And in this situation, it's very easy to leave yourself probably about a 75-foot putt, which doesn't matter what level you are. I mean, you took a tour player, he would probably three-putt that on average about a third of the time. So we take a single-figure golfer, you're probably going to three-putt it two-thirds of the time. So we want to get this ball as close as we can, and that's important. So I've got some information there that's going to say to me, look, I need to get the ball up the green. So that's really important. So we look at our data. We've done it with the putting, the 12 shots of golf. 20 feet's my number. If I get it within 20 feet, two putt it, five. Remember, I've gone par, par, bogey. That's okay. Now, because we've got a lot of green, I don't want to just get this on the green. I've got to get it up that green. And what I see a lot of the time, people will pull out from here, probably a sand iron or a lob wedge and try and float it up there. Because we've got so much green, we want to play, I would say, a slightly less lofted club. Okay, so I'm actually going to use just a standard pitching wedge. Pitching wedge will have about 43 degrees of loft. That's what we're looking to use. Okay. And what I'm looking to do is land this a good halfway up the green. If I can get it inside that 20 feet. Brilliant. That's what we're looking for. So again, all of these chip shots, have a few practice swings. Get a feel for the shot. Every chip you do is different. They're going to change in length. Looks like the green's going to break a little right to left. So again, I'm looking at that. So this is all good information. Now from there, under 20 feet, that would be lovely. And get it really close, that's a bonus. So nicely on the line. Well, I think we've probably got that within about 12, 15 feet. Let's go and have a look, see if we can get a par. If not, a bogey's okay as an eight, nine handicap golfer. So I've arrived up at the green and 
I think I've got around about what I said after the chip. I've given myself probably about a 15 foot putt, but let's pace it out and work out what we've got. One, two, three, four, five paces. So around about 12, 13 feet. So that's okay. I've given myself an opportunity. I could still hold this to save my par, but make a bogey. We look back at our previous holes, we've gone par, par, bogey. That's absolutely fine. We're gonna shoot 80 all day long if we can do that consistently through the round. Amazingly, we started this hole in torrential rain, typical British weather, we're now finishing it in a bit of sun. So the importance now is to go through your routine, make sure you stick into your routine to make it easier, to give yourself that chance to hold the putt. So mark your ball, give it a little bit of a cling. And again, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna walk up to the hole. I'm just getting a sense in my feet what the green's doing. Feels like it's really pushing me down the hill this way. So I'm looking at that, getting a good read of my putt. And I feel now that's gonna break probably a good 18 inches from right to left. So come back, ball's nice and clean now. And go through my routine. Remember, if I hold it, bonus, get my two putts, that's okay. So routine, I'm aiming out 18 inches right of the hole. Commit to that stroke. Okay, oh, I thought we got it. Just gone across the face of the hole. Rob's put that on quite a tough position, but that's fine. Bogies are fine. If I'm a single figure golfer, bogies are not gonna ruin my scorecard. So let's do a little bit of a recap. We look at the three holes. We started on the par five. We hit it about 220 off the tee. We moved it down the fairway nicely. Got it on the green, two putts. Regulation par, lovely. Gives you the confidence going to the next hole. Just a little bit short of the green on the 200 yard par three. Chipped it up nicely to about four feet. Saved my par. So I probably felt like I've sort of gained a little bit of a shot there. Down the next, torrential rain as we got to this hole. I've played a nice tee shot. It's only gone 185 because I'm just in the light rough. Sensible shot, get it up just short of the green. Nice pitch shot there up onto the green. Two putts, got my five. So I'm one over par through these three holes. If I can do that consistently throughout the round, what would that be? Six over par. So I'm gonna shoot par 72 around about 78. There you go, there's our 80, breaking 80 score, our single figure score. So you can see, hopefully, I haven't done anything amazing there on those three holes. What I've done is I've kept the ball in play, I've kept the ball moving down the hole nicely, and I've had a reasonable short game. If you can do that, you can play single-figure golf. I hope you enjoyed that um, spell with me on the golf course playing these three holes. I look forward to seeing you soon. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share with your friends.